Sabrina, when I first met you, I thought that you were a quiet, but sweet and nerdy girl. Since, I've learned that only two of those things are true. <laughs> I want to thank you for choosing me as your high school sweetheart, your college boyfriend, and now your husband. As we've been together growing up and moving through these stages of life, you've helped me grow to trust people and to give them the benefit of the doubt. You've helped me see the best in people, and I owe all of my success to your patience and your love. You brought me to a place I never knew. Every moment still a mystery. Every I don't expect our day-to-day -day life to change much after we're married. I do know one thing, though. Today, I'm getting to marry my best friend. And together, there is nothing that we can't do. I'm excited not just for the big picture of the rest of our lives, but for every moment along the way. There's not another person that I would rather walk through life with. I'm so happy that you are my forever, and I love you more than words can express. Every moment still John, I am so incredibly happy to be standing before you today and about to become your wife. 12 years ago this month in November 2010, you and I went on our first date as high schoolers. Over these 12 years, you've taught me so much about love, life, and relationships, and I make a commitment standing before you today to uphold these lessons you've taught me. You've taught me that true love, that healthy love, is that which fills up your well of self, fills it up so much that at times it's overflowing. But this sense of warmth, of comfort, of nourishment then creates a reality where every moment feels brighter and more wonderful because of this love. the future, Jonathan Tapscott Novoa, thank you for being my best friend and the partner of my wildest dreams, for expanding my world into a greater reality than I thought possible for myself, and for creating everyday moments which are abundantly filled with love, laughter, and light. I love you. I truly have trouble putting our love into words. It feels like the kind of love that spills off the page and simply can't be contained. I've done my best here today to tell you how much I cherish you and adore you and how over the moon I am to be your wife. But I'm committed to continuing to show you how much I love you each and every day of our lives together. For that which cannot be said can be shown and demonstrated through deliberate acts of love and service to each other. By the power vested in me by the great state of Arizona, I now pronounce you husband and wife. It's been a very, very long time coming. John, you may now kiss your bride.
are a rare find in today's world. When I see them together, I see two people in the most loving, trustworthy, and nurturing relationship I have ever witnessed. Together, you have the ability to conquer anything life may throw at you and accomplish any goals and desires the two of you may have. So dream big. I can't say enough how truly grateful I am to have you both in my life. I wish you both a lifetime of happiness, understanding, and joy. Whoa.